Hey everyone, welcome to a tremendously special unboxing video. Now you're going to have to bear with me just a bit. I know this isn't very exciting. You're going to be looking at just this for, uh, for maybe like two minutes or so. But I want to let you know what this is. So it was announced on October 7th, 2017 that there was going to be some sort of celebration for Dragon Quest X. And basically what was announced, well, was this. It's a fifth anniversary collectible pin set. And it was basically Square Enix's way of really celebrating Dragon Quest X's fifth anniversary. And so what this is, is essentially a pin set, just like it says. There were 555 of these that were made available. And each one includes not only the pin set, but also a promotional code inside for a special in-game item that you'll be seeing in future Dragon Quest X videos that I do. So, essentially, the way this works was as such. On October 7th to October 16th, you could exclusively, from the, uh, the uh, Square Enix eShop, you could order this particular set. And the thing was, you wouldn't be charged and you couldn't get through the checkout procedure until Square Enix essentially picked 555 random people where they were able to continue the checkout process. And winners were selected in November of 2017 and the pins shipped out shortly thereafter. Now the list price was 16,200 yen, depending on your currency, that's for Canadians about 180 bucks. And what's really interesting is that Cranberry went all nuts for this. May May got involved, but unfortunately she didn't win the lottery. So Cranberry had to go on, uh, basically, there's, there's different sites that you can use to purchase Japanese um, products like this or Japanese auction products like this. Now, each one of these things is numbered out of 555. Cranberries is 521. And um, yeah, so let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. So, I have no idea the condition of this. I'm really, really hoping it's nice because Cranberry had some issues, which we'll get into, uh, we'll get into in just a little bit. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna do this like this, et voila. Gonna keep that because that's gonna protect this. Okay, so I have no idea how this opens. Looks like it's, is it actually, uh... no, it's sealed. Okay, it's actually sealed. So, let me just pull this over here. Oh, I'm gonna have to go get a knife, I think. Okay, I went and just got a knife and cut it open here, so let's see if we can... Oh yeah! Here we go! Oh, is it backwards? Oh, nope, 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 nope. Alright! <clears throat> Alright! So here we go. Get a nice little thingy here. Square Enix Toys. We got this here. And now, hey, it came relatively uh, well packaged. Or maybe not. Mine looks like it's art. Mine looks like it's broken. <laughs> All right. So here we go. So a few things. First off, you see this? This doesn't exactly, uh, or did they do that on purpose? Oh, I think they did that on purpose. They may have. Yeah, they did. They did this on purpose. So this basically locks in and stands up. And you can even hang it up if you want to hang it up. Although, oh, I don't know, man. No, I think, I think there was supposed to, I don't know, I don't know, I don't have a clue. But basically, you hang it over here, you're probably wondering what the hell's going on. So let's, let's get everything done, okay, one, one thing at a time. So, 
This is the code. Go ahead. You can try and steal it. It's not really going to do anything because it's already been registered. Now, you might wonder, wow, what the hell is all this? This is what happened with Cranberry. So she essentially looked at this and was like, this looks like ass. So the truth is, this, I'm assuming, I'm assuming there was supposed to be glue here because it should go, you should be able to just remove this like this, pull this out. This guy, I'll have to, I'll have to glue this here. I don't know why this was like this, but whatever. You take this out, here are your pins. You gotta go very careful, at least they're not damaged. And I'm number 454. And here you go. Now, what's so interesting is this little girl right here, I'd be remiss if I didn't tell you about her. I don't even know how you would pronounce that. Lil, Lil Charette, or Lil Charette, is uh, Cranberry's adopted daughter in the game, which is very, very cute. So this is the first time that we have uh, legitimate English names for just about all of the main characters in, um, in Dragon Quest X. I thought that was really, truly unique. This is the world map, of course. And so, yeah, here you go. So, you can take out the glass, which is not glass. It's essentially just a uh, piece of plastic, and there should be a protective film on this. That's, what, that's why this looks so terrible. <laughs> now if I can just peel it off, there it is. All right. So, it's not exactly the, uh, it's not gonna be the nicest looking thing. I'm probably still gonna replace this with, uh, with, uh, what's it called? Uh, with glass, but it's not bad. Okay, so now I gotta be careful because I'm going to damage it. Uh, put my little fingers here. Do, 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 do. So yeah, Cranberry was so disappointed because when hers came in, uh, she didn't realize that there was a film on this. Okay, and one of her pins was, uh, was a little bit damaged, so she actually went and got this totally redone. Oops. All right, let's just... Something like that. Put this here like this. Close this off. This is so silly. All right, now we just push this like this and go like that, like this. I'm not going to fully put it in yet. You see? So I have to straighten it out. That's why. Okay. Ugh. And let's do... All right, so we're going to put that one like that, put that one like that. Whoops. Ugh. Okay, that's not that's not so bad. All right. We're good. Yeah, that looks pretty good. It's not uh, just just for this video anyway. It will uh it will be It'll be good. All right. All right. And I will have to glue this back together because it's supposed to be like that. 
And let's put that down. Oh no, it moved again. Son of a bee. Okay, this is proving to be quite challenging to do while I'm trying to film this. Sorry about this. Alrighty, here. This goes in. Et voila. Boom. There you go. I know one of them is a little bit moved, but very, very nice. Honestly, this is this is now today. This is the rarest uh, piece of Dragon Quest memorabilia I currently own. I got to fix that one there, but I'll do that off camera. Only 555 of these was made, and it's pretty cool, man. This is pretty cool, showing you the glorious world of Dragon Quest X. It's pretty awesome, man. So number 400, and what did I say? 454? Yep, 454. Very, very, very cool. Little glue I'll put on there, and this will be pretty much perfect. Um, it came all the way from Japan, man, so I'm very, very happy about this. So I just wanted to show you guys very quickly. So that's it. That is the fifth anniversary uh, collector's pin set, and it's a very, very, very rare piece of Dragon Quest merchandise. I'm very, very happy and actually honored to, to have this in my uh, collection. Now, this is actually going to look beautiful on my wall celebrating Dragon Quest X. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to pick up one of these things, you can do so on eBay, but it's gonna, you're going to spend hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars for this. Uh, I actually picked this up through Yahoo Auctions, and I actually got it at list price. Uh, it was about, what, I think it was, um, oh, I don't want to lie to you guys. I don't remember the exact price, but uh, I didn't get overcharged like crazy. I mean, the default was 200, uh, sorry, was 180, and I think think when all things like were said and done it was under 300 bucks uh, and for such a, a rare collectible uh, it, that's that's really 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 rare to get something like this at such a such an affordable price I was I was very very happy but typical Square Enix fashion it's not perfect right there is some obviously as you can see like this whole side here type thing I'm gonna have to fix this but I'm, I'm glad that's really easy to do a little wood glue and and I'm, I'm in business and you'll never even know that it wasn't uh, that it wasn't flawless so that's it guys I hope you enjoyed the unboxing and I will catch you all in the next video